Hi everyone, it's Missy. We have a cold spell coming, so we... And we're also in the process of weaning these guys, so we changed things up a bit. So we got one over here in a pen all by itself. Yeah. And we have the heat lamps over the water so that way their water doesn't freeze. And the reason why we're splitting these guys up more is because we're trying to f determine how much feed each one is eating. And um, that determines when we start weaning. So when they eat about two pounds of feed per day, you can start the weaning process. So we have some of the bigger ones that are already in that process, but it's hard to tell when they're pen penned up together. So we have a couple that are now split out into single pens. And we got these two still together. And we got these two still together. And these two are together um, because they're about the same size and about the same age. And we got our chicken around in the straw. And then we got this one on its own too so we can see how much feed it's eating. And then of course we got these three over here in a big pen to themselves. They've already begun the weaning process. So it's just um, kind of how we did it. Um, kind of feel sorry for this one. We do have a panel so that way you can see the other calves so it's not all by itself. And the reason why we had the board there is so that way we could put the bottle um, rack on something. But hopefully we can, this will just be very temporary and we can get everybody back together again. So, um, and then we had to block off the doors because of the drafts, so that's why there's wood panels over them. And we have some straw bales on the bottom back here too to kind of help alleviate the drafts from the east winds that we've been having. Um, and there's still plenty of ventilation up on top. It's just that you want to get the drafts that are at the base or on the floor so that way they don't get sick and I don't hear any coughing or anything which is good. It's very quiet. Everyone's just kind of laying around chewing their cud which is good. So um, so anyway, so to kind of start off on the weaning process, what we did is earlier this week we gave the three in this big pen um, three quarters of a bottle in the morning and at night instead of a full bottle. And then we go to half a bottle, and then um, then we just go to, so it'd be like getting um, two quarts of milk per day, and you just kind of step them down gradually from there, and hopefully see that their feed intake increases, and that they're foraging more on the hay, which they seem to be doing, and it's like that for all of them. And if they're not eating two pounds of feed a day, then we keep them on two quarts in the morning and two quarts in the evening. So, and when they're all different sizes and all different ages, it's, it's, it's hard to manage all that. So, but thankfully they all have ear tags so we can keep a chart and keep all the data on a clipboard so we know exactly where, who is at what level. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.